The head of Iran's nuclear agency said earlier today the European countries aren't living up to their end of the nuclear deal they struck back in 2015. That deal is still alive, even though President Trump pulled the United States out just about one year ago. This comes a day after Tehran announced it'll speed up its uranium enrichment process in a move that very definitely breaches the, the, the terms of that deal. We now turn to an expert on Iran's nuclear program who recently himself became the target of Iranian sanctions, the CEO of Foundation for the Defense of Democracies, Mark Dubowitz. Mark, the good news here is you've been sanctioned, but it also appears you've received a lot of support from the highest kind of echelons of the administration, including Secretary of State Pompeo. Is that right? That's correct. I mean, the Iranian regime has gone after my organization, They've gone after me, a guy who runs a think tank. So I think that underscores the kind of distress that the regime is, is feeling. And we've gotten Wait, enormous sorry, support. Sorry, just to, to double down on that for a second. The idea being, if they're so uh, sort of insecure at the moment that they're lashing out against American think tanks that produce policy papers, that's exactly they've got right. to be pretty upset. Is that right? That's exactly right. And I think they're under immense economic pressure and they're really feeling the, the weight of, of U.S. power. And uh, we've received enormous support from Secretary Pompeo, from Ambassador John Bolton, the National Security Advisor, from former uh, U.S. Ambassador to the U.N., Nikki Haley, as well as 70 think tank experts, including many Obama administration officials who supported the Iran deal, who were engaged in talks with Iran, came out and blasted the regime for threatening a U.S. think tank, as you say, that's engaged in putting out policy papers to provide recommendations to policymakers. Well, now, despite all this, President Trump has said multiple times in recent weeks that he would sit down and meet face to face with the Rouhani regime without any preconditions. Secretary of Pompeo, uh, Secretary of State Pompeo reiterated that this morning on TV. Um, do you think that's the right move? I think the right move is to double down on the pressure on this regime, not give them any sanctions relief, uh, not give them any of these credit lines that the French are talking about to yeah. help them that $15 billion that Macron is kind of offering. Exactly. I mean, I think that would be uh, a really uh, stupid move at this point because they're feeling the pressure. And to actually throw them a lifeline at this point would make very little sense. If the president wants to sit down and talk to President Rouhani, then he's got to reiterate that he will only accept a deal that he and Secretary Pompeo put out last year that contains right. 12 conditions, includes nukes and missiles, terrorism, uh, getting back our hostages and stopping Iran's destructive behavior. So if you can get a comprehensive deal that addresses the full range of Iran's malign behavior, then it's worth negotiating. Otherwise, keep Other, keep going. Keep, keep, keep doubling down on yeah. the pressure. Absolutely. All right. Well, Mark Dubut, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks so much we for appreciate having me. your perspective. Thank you.